Hey, I'm Jake Hall. I'm with MP Systems. Today we're going to talk about insulate and isolate. We have a crew here with us that we're going to go through a tailboard and discuss their policies and procedures on what they're going to do to apply cover up and isolate themselves from the line. We don't want to see any second point of contact incidents. Uh, when I came up in the trade 20 years ago, it was not uncommon to see somebody that had one arm, that had a leg missing, that had uh, digits missing. I had one incident when I was an apprentice where the lineman was hooking up a single phase de-energized line, uh, dead end, and he ended up coming into contact with his elbow to the pole and his hand to the wire. Um, it was not a good thing. He spent two months in the hospital in the burn unit, and I hope you guys never have to see anything like that. That's why we do this training. When we talk about insulate and isolate, we talk about all of our processes and setting up our truck all the way to putting the cover on, where we're gonna isolate ourselves. Um, part of that process is the two minute rule. It's in one of our other MP Systems videos on the YouTube channel. Uh, take that two minute rule with everything we do and it will help you with every process in line work. Hi, this is Brian from the Control Center. Hey, Brian. Called? Yep. Hey. Okay, you have an okay to work hot 282 feeder between 280, 282 tie. All right, so what we got here is we're gonna change out this three phase pole hot. Um, we'll be doing it all with hot sticks and everything. Um, First off, we'll, uh, we'll cover three sticks on road, three sticks on center, three sticks on field, any different potential that you feel that you would want to cover in between, we will. Um, we also have an arrestor up there, I see, and we'll have to Mac that out, Mac the transformer to spread it. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but would you want to cut that ground? So that Cut that open and isolate that. Oh, I'd love to isolate that. Okay, so we'll eliminate that hazard. Blankets on the arm. Blanket everything. Yeah, am I missing anything? Anyone else have anything to say? Depending on where the Mac lands, keep it away from the grounded tub. Yep. We'll try to find a proper length Mac. Yeah. When it comes to cover, especially at second point of contact, like one of the ways I look at it a lot is, um, if you question it, you just do it because you're, it, you already know that it should be covered, so just take the time to do it. Sometimes the plan changes in the heat of the moment and you have to regroup. Uh, a good discussion uh, with each other, with the crew, makes a big difference. Uh, making sure everybody has the right amount of cover up for what they need to be done. Um, covering up everything that they're going to be going in and out of through the phases over the neutral uh, when the pole gets set making sure that everything is protected there that the pole doesn't become energized all these things need to be talked about in your tailboard and as well as a group discussion if plan changes during the process so please insulate isolate best your ability cover up more than you have to just for that just in case scenario and uh, be safe.